configuring camera control. The MX2 controller provides direct control of a camera through a cable connected to the remote release port of your camera. On most cameras, there are two primary functions provided, control shutter and control autofocus. Here we'll describe how to set the MX2 to handle different shooting requirements. Remember that for the camera to be controlled by the MX2, the camera must be connected through its remote shutter port to the MX2 camera port using an appropriate cable. For some cameras, it may be required to put the camera in remote mode to recognize the signal from the remote shutter port. All parameters indicated below are saved when the power is removed from the MX2 and only need to be modified when you want to change them. The exposure interval is the time between each exposure. The value is displayed on the main screen and may be set in tenths of seconds, e.g. 0.2, 1.1. It can also be edited directly in the main screen or through the camera menu. Note that the exposure interval value is the time between triggering each exposure and not necessarily the time between completing one exposure and starting the next. The different camera delays you configure for focus tapping, exposure delay will impact the actual exposure interval times should they be longer than the interval when summed. In the case where your parameters have caused the interval timer to be exceeded, the main screen will always display the actual interval time and not the time you configured. It will not be possible to reduce the interval time without first decreasing one of the other camera delays that you've configured up. If you change the exposure interval whilst the program is running, it will take effect on the next exposure cycle. Like most values in the MX2 controller, the exposure interval value is retained after power off. Setting the exposure interval via the main screen can be done by using the right or left arrows to select the displayed interval time and using the up and down arrows to modify the value. Alternatively, setting the exposure interval via the camera menu Press enter to go into the main menu, come down to the camera menu, select interval seconds and then using the up and down arrows to change the interval seconds value required, enter to save this value and then back to return to the main display. Controlling exposure time with the MX2 controller. The MX2 controller is capable of doing bulb exposure control. The shutter line will be kept engaged for as long as the exposure time parameter is configured for. The exposure time is entered in milliseconds and may be set for as low as your camera will recognise or up to about 50 days. Remember that there are only 1000 milliseconds in a second, so if you want one second of exposure you'd be entering this value as 1000. Please note that different cameras have different exposure time requirements for bulb mode, both minimum and maximum. If you need a controlled exposure for a shorter period of time than your camera will allow in bulb mode, you must use the camera to control exposure in using it in manual mode. You may need to experiment and discover the correct minimums and maximums for your particular camera. Begin by setting your camera to bulb mode, press enter to go to the main menu, Come down to the camera mode, come down to the exposure time in milliseconds and press enter. Dial in the required exposure time in milliseconds. In this case I'm going to make it 1320 milliseconds. Enter to save this. Come down to the exposure delay milliseconds and then use the up and down to set this to zero, enter, and then back to the main display. For most cases you'll find it best to control the exposure on the camera using manual or some other mode to dial in the appropriate exposure time. Under certain conditions it will be important to tell the MX2 controller the exact exposure time you've dialed in on the camera so that it does not attempt to trigger an exposure at the wrong time. The amount of time to wait after triggering exposure is configured via the exposure delay value. This value is input in milliseconds, so again one second would be entered as 1000. To disable any delay after triggering exposure, set the exposure delay value to zero.
For continuous motion control, it is not generally necessary to set exact exposure delays in the MX-2 unless it exceeds your configured interval time. However, for interleaved or shoot-move-shoot -shoot motion control, it is essential to dial in the correct exposure time to prevent the motor movement during the exposure. In many cases, it is advantageous to exceed the actual exposure time configured on the camera in the exposure delay parameter. Additionally, you should configure the exposure time to its minimal value to prevent unnecessary delays. Each camera will have a different minimum exposure time required to honour the request to trip the shutter. For many cameras, 100 milliseconds is a safe bet. Exposure time must always be greater than zero to trigger the camera. Begin by setting your camera to manual mode. Dial in the correct exposure on the camera. Press enter to go into the main menu. Down to the camera menu, enter, come down to the exposure time, enter, and use the up and down values to set the minimum time for your camera. So for my Canon, 100 is a good value. Enter. Then come down to the exposure delay, and then set a value. I'm going to set this to one second, so 1000 milliseconds. Enter and then return to the main display. The MX2 can automatically stop running when a certain number of frames have been exposed. Simply set the maximum shot parameter for the camera. Note that when ramping or feathering moves, setting the max shot parameter tells the MX2 when to start ramping down. Like most values in the MX2 controller, the max shot value is retained after power off. Begin by pressing enter to go to the main menu. Come down to the camera menu. Come down to the max shots, enter to select, and dial in the required number of maximum shots. Press enter to save this, and back to return to the main display. For certain conditions, the focus control line can be used to control other aspects of the camera. Trip autofocus before firing. On long intervals, put the camera into auto sleep mode and use the focus line to wake it up before firing the camera to take a picture. For some live view cameras, the camera may not respond to the first time the exposure is tripped unless the focus line is tripped first. The focus tap parameter allows you to define how long the focus line should be triggered before the exposure line is triggered. This time is input in milliseconds and there's always should be an additional one tenth of a second before disengaging the focus line and before exposure line will engage and prevent a bouncing effect being perceived by the camera. It's important to set this value to the right amount of required time for your particular camera configuration. Some cameras focus slower than others will require more time to wake up and will require the focus tap value to be much higher. Experiment with your camera and shooting conditions to determine what's going to work best for you. To disable the focus tap functionality, set the time to 0 milliseconds. Begin by pressing enter to go into the main menu. Come down to the camera menu. Come down to focus tap milliseconds. Enter to select and then dial in the required number of milliseconds for the focus tap. Again, I would start at 100 as a safe value. Press enter to save and back to return to the main display. The MX2 is capable of controlling cameras that require the focus line to be triggered along with the shutter line to be triggered and exposure. Many Nikon cameras require this and some Canon users also report that their cameras respond more reliably when the two lines are triggered together. The shutter focus parameter allows you to control this behavior. Press enter to go into the main menu down to the camera menu, down to shutter plus focus, enter to select, use the down arrow to turn this on or off, enter to save and return to the main display.